I've seen a lot of people complain in my YouTube comments about TikTok Live Studio and how it's lagging or it's having some issues. In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the most common issues and how to fix them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. One of the primary issues people have is their stream or video lagging. Some of these fixes that you can do are actually pretty simple, but some might require you to upgrade your PC. So first thing we'll have to do is check if our PC meets the minimum requirements to run TikTok Live Studio. So first things over here, we go into the TikTok Live Studio in the Help Center. It shows us the standard and the elite specs. I'm not sure what the elite specs are, but probably minimum and recommended. So the minimum, we have i5 8600 or higher for the CPU. And then for the GPU, you have GTX 1660 or the 1660 Ti with at least eight gigs of RAM or more. If you want to run games that are a bit more advanced, like PUBG, League of Legends, or Fortnite, you will need some of these upgrades, right? And if you want to run elite specs, basically, you know, the full on best looking stream, you will need an i9-9900 or RTX 2080, which are absolutely insane specs to run a streaming software. I think that's way too much. And that's why I recommend running OBS with virtual cam into TikTok. So you lower the load off your PC from, you know, TikTok Live Studio onto the OBS, which is way more lightweight. But we're going to go over that in just a little bit. Right now, these are the specs. So make sure to look into those to see if your PC even fits in the minimum specs. If you've done that and your PC does fit in the minimum specs, then we're going to go over uh, settings and we're going to check if you have the right settings. If you haven't already seen my previous video where I go over the best video settings for TikTok, make sure to check it out. But I'm going to go over some of the issues that you might have as well. So first things first is the resolution. Do you need to stream in 1080p or do you need to stream in 720p? A lot of people are having that discussion. I think that, you know, since most of the phones are able to run 720p, no problem. And most people are watching on the phone they won't really notice the difference between 1080p and 720p. So lower your load off your PC with a 720p stream. Go into the video bitrate. This is for network. So if you're having any network issues and your, you know, internet's lagging, your stream's lagging, and make sure to check your video bitrate as well. If you have good upload speed, for example, above 10, then make sure to use, you know, as high of the bitrate as possible, which I recommend going maximum 6K, even though this is still an overkill for a mobile stream this is overkill i'd recommend like 4k but since i have gigabit and i can run unlimited upload then i'm just running the max because it doesn't matter for me right if you have issues then make sure to go into speed test check your speed test right there if you have like one upload that means 1000 bit rate right you should always use maximum of 80 percent of your upload and have 20 percent for some random things like the game or you know chrome or whatever you're running in the background so your stream doesn't crash so if you have like 10 make sure to use only eight upload for streaming and then two upload for you know whatever else so keep that in mind and not max out your video bit rate because it will cause your stream to crash or lag uh, encoder, this is one of the most important things as well, is the encoder you're using. So TikTok does say that hard encoding may optimize your live experience by lowering the CPU usage. So if you are not running hard encoder, make sure to do that because it will use the, for example, NVENC on NVIDIA or whatever else AMD has. So and use the NVIDIA hard encoder or hard codec. Uh, I'm using uh, 264 because that's like the most common. 265 is a bit advanced. You don't need to do that and make sure not to use any of the SOT codecs if you have issues. So that's the thing that might cause your stream to lag. Those are the things you need to be changing if you have issues. But if you do those and you have a good enough PC, you should not see any problems with the stream or video quality. One other issue that I've seen people have is the audio issue. So sometimes people are saying they're having double voices or like double sound coming in from the stream, which means that have like double mic or double sound. So if you uh, want to fix that, all you need to do is go to the audio mixer tab over here and then you will see the audio devices. In this tab, you will see your microphone and your audio, which means your speakers or your headphones, whatever else is the output. For the input, you must put your microphone, obviously. Make sure this is not doubled so you don't have like a default device and then you have like your microphone set as well. So this is, for example, going to be doubled up over here. So if you see this, that's a problem. Make sure to have only your microphone or only your default device. Make sure to remove the other one. You don't want it doubled. That's what's causing the issue. Same thing for output. If you have default and you have your speakers, for example, let's choose like, 
I don't know, speakers over here. Now you have double the sound. You want that removed. So make sure to go in, remove the audio device, and now you will be set up. Also, some of the things that you can set up is the filters. You can do noise suppression if you have a lot of background noise. You have like people walking, talking, or like your fan in the background. Use the noise suppression. That will help you out. Or you can do uh, like the audio monitoring so you can hear yourself. Uh, and figure out some of the issues on the microphone as well. And those are most common issues that people have with TikTok Live Studio. If you have some more issues, make sure to let me know down in the comments below and I will try to help you out. If you got this far into the video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can use this OBS plugin to lower your PC load from your TikTok Live by running OBS Virtual Cam into TikTok Live Studio and save a ton of resources. So make sure to check this video out for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Anyway, peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.